I began my research on exercise and weight loss trials in cancer survivors over 10 years ago. Um, and really the impetus for this research was the fact that for many years we knew, um, have known that exercise and weight are related to certain cancers, developing certain cancers such as breast cancer. But it wasn't until 2005 when the first paper was published looking at how exercise after diagnosis of breast cancer may lower your risk of recurrence or mortality. That was an observational finding. But from that, I was really intrigued with what, what are the mechanisms, the biological mechanisms that could explain uh, uh, the association between exercise and lowering risk of recurrence for breast cancer, as well as the role of weight loss. And so I began um, conducting some trials in the mid-2000s um, where we enrolled uh, women who were diagnosed with breast cancer and currently not exercising. And we randomized them to either doing an exercise program or usual care and looked at collected blood and other um, markers and found that exercise actually was associated with favorable changes uh, and decreases in blood-based biomarkers such as insulin and C-reactive protein. And these are markers we know that are related to developing breast cancer but also dying of breast cancer. And since those trials, I've also looked at the role of weight loss with exercise and the effect on some of these biomarkers, finding similar findings. Uh, for example, CRP, or C-reactive protein, which is a marker of uh, chronic inflammation, we found about a 30% decrease in CRP levels with um, our weight loss and exercise trial, with about a 5% weight loss in women with breast cancer.